Okay, I would like to try and think about this uh, signals situation in terms of what I already know. And um, the main thing I see is that, um, let's see here. Andrew says he wants to drive use effect close to zero as possible. Um, and there are com uh, some commentary about um, um, sending application state flow through the use effect in order to update other state, which is what a signal would do with something like derived state. And I know Angular, I think Angular calls it something different. They call calculated sound. What, what is called calculated in Angular, I believe should be called derived um, in one of the other mechanisms. But e either way, we're talking about a downstream variable that is calculated based on, based on it, which is a derivative of another value. Um, and in, in this example here, I have a button toggle theme where I'm just, you know, I'm updating the local storage value of theme to dark or light based on the button I click. And the way I'm doing that is by passing, passing every user event of the, the, the uh, toggle, the switch toggle, passing it I'm 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 passing it through the use effect in order to update local storage so theme is the use state and that is in the dependency array of the effect so whenever use state changes based on toggling this um, it's gonna you know if I toggle it it's gonna call it's gonna call set set the state and so it's gonna trigger use effect which updates local storage so that's very similar to the concept of of the the signal of that is derived based on the value of the original variable, right? So the state would be the original variable, that, and the local source would be the derived value, or the like this, or I guess the in and I I guess in this terminology the the theme would be the signal, and then the derived value would be the state. And it's all passed through. Everything is funneled through use effect to to, to trigger this. Whereas in um, in a, in, a, in a signal, you don't need to pass everything through a use effect in order to update this. Let's say, I mean, in this case, it might be might might not be applicable. But if it were another piece of state, let's say, you wouldn't have to pass it through use effect every time to to to, to do that. Instead, it would just listen for the update and automatically trigger it without without by so it would basically bypass use effect right okay all right so that's my first example of actually sending everything through use effect and using the effect as a methodology to transport signals to from from one variable to another okay all right now let's take a look at another app which is mob mobx okay this is more traditionally the signal type of app okay so in this what we're doing what we have here is and I'm gonna have to uh, fire this up in order for it to work because I want it to I want to I want to um, Oh goodness. Um, oh no. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Let me do this. Um, 
in this case what I would like to do is to view the application and, and particularly not the application but the components and look at this uh, form and what's going on here okay so <clears throat> Now in um, okay in 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 mob X we have a signal and again we're using we're using use effect but use effect now is really only for that initial um, for that initial um, bootstrap okay um, and unfortunately I don't have git uh, it, it explained it very well, actually. Um, I wish I just didn't uh, close that other repo. But anyway, okay. Well, I'll explain it. I'll try and explain it as well as uh, GitHub Copilot's um, their little explainer tool does. Um, but what this does, okay. Um, first of all. Okay, first of all, this is this is MobX, which is more closer to traditional signals, although MobX uses observable. And signal and observable is not exactly the same thing, but let's just, for argument's sake, okay, we're still using use effect to bootstrap the, the, the state, okay? And the state is basically... The database is, um, is, is, a, is a, an object with a first and last name okay it's called the programmer's model so that is our store essentially um or, or date or state our store our database whatever you want to call it so it's programmer's model now if i update this and, and when we get that from uh repository um actually over here i want to bring this to app and here, I want to kind of bring this down here. I'm sorry, I did repository. I meant to say gateway. Okay, so it starts off with, it just resolves a promise. It gives you, an, it's an async fetcher method. It gives you John Doe. So that's how we, that's our initial state. That's where we load up the, the data, the state, the database, the programmer's model, John Doe. Okay, I can say ABC DF, submit that. And now, I hit the programmer's model with this new state, okay? And so the signal would be essentially um, the use state variable, which is where everything is, um, the use state variable is, uh, is essentially the, 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 the initial value that's being updated. It's being that's being um, used to get derived state, right? So when we update use state, that sends we that sends um, um, well. I have to okay. I have to get in here. I have to do the form and then okay. Um, <clears throat> Okay. Well, we have we have multiple use states, so it's hard it's harder to track. But anyway, um, this this piece this little string right here is the is called the view model, and that is essentially the final product or the derived value based on what's in the database. So what's in the database is A B C D E F, and our final view based on A B C D E F is hello, my name is. A, B, C, D, E, F. All right. So that's the derived, that's the, that's the derivative of the, of, and it's being automatically updated based on the signal, right? So even if I turn the web server off, I can still say, uh, B and it still works because it's already loaded in the Java. It's got the JavaScript working here and, and that's, just it's being responsive based on the JavaScript, so it's not like any server calls or anything like that. But um, e the the point is, um, 
um, I, I think the point is we're not we're not passing all of we're not passing every uh, update through a use effect in order to then trigger derivative values. Instead, we're loading up the pub sub. You know, we're subscribing to the um, we're subscribing to the 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 observable in here through this view model is what it's called. We're subscribing here and then it's deriving it's deriving these updates based on um, update making other updates. So I believe um, there are aspects of, of signally stuff happening there as well. <clears throat> 